Ooh, what is that suave dude wearing? That is right. That is the first official Silver Picker merch. That's right. Obverse, reverse. Obverse on the front, reverse on the back. Be the envy of all your coin collector and stacker friends. Support the channel and order today. Links in the description below. everybody, Silver Picker here, and welcome to the Silver Picker Squad. Now, today's video is going to be an awesome one because it is a good old-fashioned classic silver coin and bullion haul. Well, you guys have seen me get tons and tons of silver over the years, and I've bought it at garage sales and thrift stores and Craigslist and all sorts of other places that I typically get it from, but this one is a little bit different. This one I actually got from one of you guys. That's right, one of you guys, one of my viewers, reached out to me and said that they were liquidating a portion of their silver stack and was interested to see if I wanted to buy any of it. Well, I was indeed. He sent me some pictures and a spreadsheet with his asking prices. I refilled out the spreadsheet with my offer, which of course was slightly less than his asking price. You know, I still have to make a profit on it. Um, but I offered him a very fair deal. We came to an agreement and here it is. Now, I'm not going to share his name to uh, protect his privacy, but he knows who he is, and uh, it's really exciting that I'm able to do some business with you guys, too. Help him out, sell off a portion of his stack, and get him the cash that he needs, and gives me an opportunity to buy some awesome and very unique silver. You'll see what's in here. Some really interesting and unique stuff, and get it at a very good and reasonable price. So. I'm curious to think, hear what you guys think about this deal. I paid him $415 for everything you see here today. And I'm curious to hear if you think that he got a better deal, I got a better deal, or whether it was just fair in general. So if you guys are interested in selling me anything, I am definitely open to it. Uh, you can shoot me an email at thesilverpicker at gmail.com. And if there's a way for us to work it out, I certainly will. And if you want to send me anything to my P.O. Box just to share and open on the channel, whether it's some fan mail or anything that you want to send me, you can send it to P.O. Box 1322, Bronx, New York, 10471. If you do, I will send you back one of these guys, a limited edition silver picker postcard. So this guy who sent me this, even though he didn't send me fan mail per se, is going to get one of these handwritten postcards as well. So enough of the jibber jabber, let's crack into this box, see what he sent me, see how it is, and then you guys can tell me in the comments below if you think I got a good deal, he got a good deal, or we both got a fair deal. Let's do it. Do it. Now, last time I opened a box on camera, I used one of my favorite knives, which is a Schrade clip hanger, and you guys gave me a lot of grief because it was very dull. In fact, one of you guys said that my favorite knife cuts about as sharp as a spoon. And you guys were right. I've had that knife since I was like eight years old. I haven't sharpened it in a long time. So instead, this time I'm going to use another one of my favorite knives, a simple, simple knife. It is a Victorinox Swiss Army knife that is a pairing knife style, single blade, very sharp, razor sharp. It's not really intended to open boxes, but I like to use my knives for whatever purposes I have. And if any of you guys are interested in this knife, as always, I will have a link down in the description box, and you guys can get one of your very own. So, let's crack right into it. Ooh, how do you like that? Like butter. Like butter. Is that better this time? All right, pack to the brim. Pack to the brim. Well, it looks like there's a note here. Max, thanks a lot for the deal. I look forward to selling and buying with you in the future. Please email me for the pay PayPal details. Sincerely, blank, blank. All right. Thank you, and I will definitely do that. All right, so let's see what we've got in here. So this is all the stuff that I paid $415 for. Well, I guess that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. No, just kidding, just kidding. Of course we're going to go through all of it. Of course we're going to go through all of it. Um, why don't we start with this stuff first, because this stuff is the simplest. We can get this out of the way. So this is a 2011 mint set, Oop. and this one's the Philadelphia, the Philadelphia one. We have the same for Philadelphia. These are not that exciting. You know, these are these are really just like maybe a little bit over face value, but... Um, it's still pretty cool. And by the way, if any of you guys are interested in purchasing any of this stuff, uh, please feel free to send me an email as well, because all this stuff will be for sale. I may keep a couple things for my own private collection. So that's that. Let's take a look at this. This thing looks really cool. Stardust of the Universe. Wow, that is so cool. Certificate of Authenticity. 
2,500 pieces, 999 fine silver, uh, one ounce from 2014 face value of $5. Of course, we would never spend this as, as money. Wow, look at that. That is so cool. It says Moldavite Impact. I believe this is like some kind of asteroid uh, debris that is actually embedded into this silver coin. Wow, look at that. Cook Islands, $5. Look at that deep cameo proof finish. That is super, super cool. That is really, really cool. And as usual, uh, by popular demand, I will put coin values over here, right in the left-hand side. So you'll see what I paid, and you'll see what the value is. Next up, take a look at this guy. I want to make sure not to, not to damage it, because these are, of course, for resale. You know, business, guys, business. It's all about the business. Wow, that is beautiful. Oh my god, the Canadians really, really know how to make coins. This is so nice. Look at the quality on that. Look at the quality on that. $20 face value. I actually appreciate that they finally have started putting reasonable face values on these silver coins. Like, seeing the dollar on the, on the American Silver Eagle, while it's iconic, I mean, it's just kind of silly, right? In 2019, we're, put, we're minting coins with a dollar face value that's worth 15, 16 times that. This is not your granddaddy's colorized coin. This is, you know, 21st century stuff. Look at that. Beautiful. And of course, we've got our little certificate of authenticity in there. Alright, we'll put that over there. Let's continue on the Canada crowd, right? Wow, look at that! This is from the Great Lakes set. It's a $20 uh, face value again, and this one is Lake Huron. They did such a good job with these. Look at that. They really did such a freaking good job with this. How do you like that? I might hold on to this one. This one, I... It's beautiful. I mean, look at the shading. Look at the, the three-dimensional aspect of that and the colors. It's art. This is truly art. You know, why am I closing these? Why am I closing these? Enjoy these in the background. Enjoy these as we enjoy the new ones. All right, this one's a little simpler. This is a $10 polar bear, also from Canada, of course, 2013. Even the not colorized ones, look at that. I mean, the frostiness of the iceberg that it's standing on, the clean mirror finish of the, of the background, the paw print. I mean, the detail on this is spectacular. Absolutely spectacular. I love it. I love it. All right, maybe I'm going to hold on to more of these than I'm admitting. Uh, but still, if you want to buy any of them, feel free to, uh, to, to make an offer. Okay, this one's big. I wonder what's in here. I, this is really like a surprise for me because I really don't remember what I bought. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is the Broadleaf Arrowhead Flower. Sorry, the Venetian Glass Turtle with Broadleaf Arrowhead Flower. Oh my god, I'm even afraid to like pick this one up. If you ever thought a coin was three-dimensional, I mean, you haven't seen anything till you see this. Look at that. That is a Venetian glass turtle. Can you see? It's literally 3D. It's sitting on the coin. It's got the beautiful colorized flower. $20, 2015 Canada. This is like, this is insane. Of course, the, the beautiful Queen's bust. Look at that. I've never seen anything like this. Wow. Really. Really, that is, this is unique. You don't see this every day. You do not see this every day in your silver stack. Canada, you have outdone yourself. All right, should we take a look at what's in here? I think this might be some more like standard stacking silver stuff. A little bit more, more standard. All right, more paper towel. Good job packing. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. That is nice. All right, let's see what we got. There's a couple layers, so we're gonna get to enjoy these layer by layer. Okay, got ourselves a 2012 koala from Australia, 999 fine silver. Look at that. 
Oh my gosh. Look at that. I mean, look at that gorgeous, deep cameo. Mirror finish. See, again, $1. It's kind of silly. It really is kind of silly. Let's just call it what it is, right? Let's just say it like it is. That's silly. A kook? You know, this is actually my first kookaburra. Is that crazy? The amount of ounces of silver that I have dealt with over the years through my personal stack and collection and my buying and selling business, the fact that I've never actually bought an Australian kookaburra before is just mind-blowing. Australia, you are impressive. Okay, classic Chinese panda. Now this one you can tell is not one of those phony baloney ones like, uh, like I got in the past. Uh, but this is really nice. What year is this one? 2012. And last but not least, for this batch, another koala. All right, let's see what's under the next layer. Okay, we got ourselves some, oh, all sorts of stuff. Uh-oh, don't want any of this stuff to fall through the cracks on my deck over here. All right, looks like we've got a bunch of buffalo nickels. Nice bunch of buffaloes. Nice bunch of buffaloes. Some wheat scents. Got a couple of smashed pennies over here. And we got ourselves five Indian head scents as well. Looks like we got a few more in there. Let's put those out too. Now look at this one. We got ourselves a little penny taco. A little penny taco. I don't think I I don't think I talked about buying those. Alright, looks like we've got a whole bunch of other stuff too. Man. Man, this is wild. This is wild. Look at all this stuff. Okay, got two colorized Puerto Rico quarters. I think I paid face value for some of this stuff, if I remember correctly. Little plated New York State quarter. 2007 Sacagawea. I think I paid face value for those. I think I told him I'll just take him off his hands if he wants me to. 1851 large scent. Not in great shape, but still... A very cool little piece. Remember, got some foreign silver. You know I love foreign silver. It's a rupee from India from 1917. This one's sweet. We got a Balboa right here. A little Panamanian Balboa from 1930. Shield scent. That's right. I'm going to put this in my typeset. Believe it or not, I don't actually have a, sh a shield scent. This one's from 1871. It's not in great shape, but still pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. That one's going in my typeset. Another Indian. Okay, we got ourselves a Polish silver coin from 1925. One Zloty. Now this guy looks like some kind of medieval coin. I'm going to have to do some research on that. That is... Weird. I do not know what that is. I can't tell if it's damaged or if this is just like how the coin was made back in whatever century it was made in. Comment down below if you have a clue about this. Okay, we got ourselves another couple ancients. I do not know much about ancient coins, so these will both be posted on Cointalk.com to get some more, a better idea. Look at that. Look how thick that is. That is back in the day when copper was or bronze whatever this is i think it's it's copper or bronze was was really valuable this thing weighs a ton super super heavy and thick this it looks like we've got a little horseman design on there i mean these might be worth a lot might be worth a little you'll see in the bottom of the screen after i've done some research on them all right back to this never ending box we go i mean man look at that okay we've got another Large scent, 1845. This one has a counter stamp on it that says TWL. I always think counter stamped uh, 
coins are so cool. Just so, so cool. They're such a, an interesting part of history. Got ourselves another ancient little bust of a Roman general or a leader of some kind with a really cool stylized eagle on the back and an L. Very cool. Dude, you sent me some quality stuff. I would love to do business with you again in the future. Really quality stuff. Looks like there's a cross on this one, so this might be an, a Roman coin, early Christian era. Can't see what that is. I mean, to me, it almost looks like a polar bear, but uh, maybe that's just because uh, Canada's on my mind. And another Indian head scent. I mean, come on, these, these just keep popping up everywhere. Back into the jar we go. Man, this is just the box that keeps on giving. All right, looks like we've got a little uh, Liberty V nickel. All right, got some stuff in two by twos. Okay, we've got a Lewis and Clark gold-plated nickel. I did not pay a dollar for that, I can tell you that. As cool as this is, as nice it is as it is, I would not pay over face value for this. But thank you for including it anyway. 2005 nickel. The Journey Westward nickel. Ocean in view. Oh, the joy. Joe Fitzgerald, the designer. Yep, I think I paid a nickel for that. Though it is some nice toning. Here we go. That is nice. Is that ten escudos? Republic de Portugal. Republica Portuguesa. Excuse me. 1954. That's a, a nice foreign silver over there. Saudi Arabia, very cool, very cool. Okay, this is a Tunisian coin. I think I actually paid a, a pretty good amount of these non-silver foreign coins. They just have some good numismatic value, and I'm a sucker for them because they're so interesting, and I love the history and geography. Okay, Moroccan coin, 100 francs. Morocco was a French colony at one time, and that's where the French influence comes from. That's a silver right there. This is from Mauritius. That is an island off the coast of Africa. I actually had a trip planned there, but I quickly changed my plans and ended up doing a road trip through South Africa and Namibia instead. Very, very cool. This one is from 1899. Wow. You know I love my British Mandate Palestine coins, and this one is a beauty. 1939. Look at that. 10 mils. Hit that like button, by the way, if you like collecting obscure countries or historical sets of coins, like I do. East Africa, one shilling, 1948. A lot of the East African countries, like Kenya, for example, were British colonies. I spent some time working in Kenya, so that is really, really cool. 1904, from, it says Serbia on there. That's pretty cool. Can't read Cyrillic, so not 100% sure if that is actually from Serbia. But it is really cool, and it is definitely silver. 1917, 10 piastres. I guess that's from Egypt. Very cool. Let's see, does this... Does this box have, have more to give? Oh, it sure does. It sure does. Man. It's the gift that just keeps giving. All right, and this is the last of it. This is the last of it. Okay, another wheat scent. Two more Liberty V nickels. Two more of these goofy colorized state quarters. These are New York state quarters. Got ourselves another ancient. Looks like there's another horse and maybe a man over there and the bust of somebody. I'm going and last but not least in the coins, we've got ourselves a three cent nickel. That is cool. And I don't have any of those in my typeset either. So I'm going to be adding two of these to my typeset, a five cent shield nickel and this three cents uh, nickel as well. Very, very cool. That's of course opposed to, as opposed to the three cent silver which is also a U.S. three-cent coin, but was made out of silver. So what do you think? How do you think I did? How do you think my viewer and the sender of this box did? 
I paid four fifteen for this. You can take a look in the corner and see that I'll make a nice little profit. Yeah. What I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna spend all of our time going through this this giant batch of random world coins. I'm gonna look through it on my own later, and if I find anything special or unique, I'll post it to Instagram and Facebook. So follow me there, and you can see uh, what I find over there. And I will do the same with these foreign banknotes. Though I'll give you a little a little sneak peek over here. Little sneakity peekity. What's that? For a second, I thought that was 50 euros, and I'm like, whoa! Okay. This one, I'll just see why he separated this. Maybe it's the US ones? Let's see what is in here. Oh, I guess these are a little bit more valuable. This is really cool. Look at that. I'll have to look up where that is. Very cool. Five golden, that is definitely from the Netherlands. Very cool. And something I've never owned before, but I've always wanted it because it is so cool. We have a mint condition $100 trillion note from Zimbabwe. Most of you who are hardcore coin collectors and banknote collectors know that there was tremendous hyperinflation in Zimbabwe, and they printed notes up to $100 trillion, which is just bananas, mind-boggling. And I'm glad to have this odd piece of numismatic history in my collection. So I'm going to hold on to that one, too. But if any of you guys are interested in purchasing any of these things, or if you're in purchase, interested in purchasing all of it, shoot me an email at thesilverpicker at gmail.com. So anyway, that's it. Feast your eyes upon this collection that I bought. Uh, thank you very much. You know who you are who sent this to me. I appreciate you giving me the opportunity to purchase it. I hope you have had an easy and enjoyable experience doing business with me, and I hope we do more business in the future. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. Please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel, and as you know, I've been investing a lot more time and money into making awesome videos for you guys. So if you'd like to support the channel, hit the links below for merch. You can buy some awesome Silver Picker t-shirts or coffee mugs you know you want it and if you want to buy any coin collecting or silver picking or silver stacking supplies use my Amazon links below it won't cost you a cent more than you'd already spend on Amazon and I get a percent or two to support the channel so thank you very much again I really hope you enjoyed the video I love this stuff look how awesome this is this is one of the best most unique and variety filled uh, silver purchase that I've made in a long time and it is all thanks to you guys out there and I am just so thankful and appreciative. So I've rambled on long enough. Hope you enjoyed the video. A lot more cool stuff coming down the pike. So stay tuned and until next time, you know it, Silver Picker out.